All right, y'all, this is, look, I'm Dr. Snap from Live from the High. We out here, out here at Dr. Spencer's farm. We was out here the other week when we had that swarm over there that we put in that box. And we got a helper out here today. Introduce yourself. What's the witness? I'm a business major at Tuskegee. I'm in Detroit, out here on the farm now. Trying to learn how to do some bees, keep some bees, learn about the honey and different types of things you can do with it to make added value products. Try to make some money, some revenue. Alright. Alright, so we gonna we gonna check these hives right quick and see if we need to do some splits or anything like that. So we're gonna get right back with This is one of the ones we about to add the split to. Yeah. Are we going to split? Yeah. 
Trying to just chase them down, back down into the into the box. So you want yeah. this one? Take, take this the, one off. Right. Take this box. Right. No, we're gonna take we're gonna take this top box. See it on the bottom over there. Set it on the new frame. Oh, okay. We okay. can look at it before we before we can look at some of the frames. If you don't mind on it. Alright, so start at one again. Uh oh. That frame broke. Let's start at this one. We just want to see if there's some queen cells. Queen cells. Queen cells. Is this the perfect time of year for that? It's, uh, well, all spring, summer start a little earlier this year than. Normal. At least than what I'm. When I'm used to. Yeah. cells right here the ones that look like bullet caps on the outside and right here like that's a drone cell but around it the flat ones are the are the um the worker bee cells that's a queen cell that hatched yeah that's what i'm saying i think it would so, be good if we just moved this top. One, that right there see how i got the hole in the bottom and how it's kind of bigger approachable. that's a queen cell that hatched So we may have a young queen somewhere. Uh oh, smoke <laughs> What we're gonna do is we're just gonna move this box and see what tray or how do you I mean you so one hive body or one high, whole hive should have one queen in it wow. okay so if you have more than one queen or, or what you call like a super seeder, um that's when the or when they swarm really mm. when they swarm that's when the old queen leaves and the young new queen that they've been cultivating takes over takes over right because okay. they start cultivating the queen when the old queen starts having like a spotty, a spotty, what you call a spotty brood pattern. So mm -hmm. it's not in a uniform manner. Mm -hmm. You know, you have some eggs, some spots, eggs wow. and spots, but it's not uniform, it's not. So it tells us she's getting older. Right, and so the bees will, the worker bees, they'll start cultivating what you call queen cells. Wow. And in those queen cells, they put royal, royal jelly and feed them. Wow. And then, once that, once they eat that royal jelly, mm -hmm. that's what helps them become a queen. And then they hatch out, and then they kill any other queen that they see. Put that box on top of this one. 
I'm not trying to crush any bees here. Might have got one on that side. Sorry, baby. This is what we would do um, to start a new hive? It's Trying to prevent them from swarming. Okay. That they have uh, drones in here since they're getting ready. And so giving them more space. Because what, what makes them swarm is that they out run out of space and get too crowded. They're starting to learn already to come up. Give them some sugar water. on them and they're just gonna build in a couple of days they'll have that wax foundation built out and then they'll start back storing storing honey and preparing for the winter it's not even summer yet and they're preparing for winter i mean that's what honey is isn't that honey amazing is storage for the winter wow you know we just wow. them and rob them. <laughs> Sounds like something else I know. You can leave that one on. So just for any problem? Yeah. Yeah, hope that, uh... You don't have to. You don't have to. What do the six do? Just let, let it ventilate a little bit better. It's hotter. That makes sense. We need to get five more. Let's open this one and take a look. We'll put it, put it in this blue box. They have to move that orange. And in the front, you in a flight zone, a flight pattern. Despite sugar, water, you know, the split that we did, 